the information you need relating to the sport you love, all within five minutes. NASCAR in 5 starts right now. The Challenger round concludes Sunday at Dover. 12 will advance, 4 will be eliminated from championship contention. Then next weekend, the contender round begins at Kansas. Hello everyone, welcome to NASCAR 5, I'm your host Bryce Turner. First up, results from last weekend. The Cup Series raced at New Hampshire with the Sylvania 300. Joey Logano is the winner, Kyle Larson, Kevin Harvick, Jamie McMurray, and Jimmy Johnson rounded out the top 5. For more post-race coverage, visit carnets.ca and click on Closed Wheel Racing. Penske teammates Brad Kozlowski and Joey Logano occupy the top two positions in the chase grid and have clinched a spot in the next round. Kevin Harvick is in third. He came just shy of clinching based on points last weekend. Kevin will almost certainly be in the next round. As for the other chasers listed on screen, they will need to race their way into round two during Sunday's race at Dover. Trying to ruin the current top 12's hopes are Denny Hamlin, Greg Biffle, Kurt Busch, and Eric Almirola, who all still have a chance to race their way into the contender round. The AAA 400 from Dover International Speedway will take place on Sunday at around 2 p.m. Eastern Time. The race will be broadcast on ESPN, TSN, the Motor Racing Network, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place at 3.30 today and will air on ESPN2. Stay tuned, news is next on NASCAR 5. Here's a look at which races we'll be previewing for you next week here on NASCAR 5. It's time now for a news update. In the news, the verdict is out. Tony Stewart will not face charges in the death of Kevin Ward Jr., who was fatally struck by Stewart during a sprint car race back in August. The verdict was announced on Wednesday following a grand jury hearing. Ontario County District Attorney Michael Tantillo also stated that, according to toxicology reports, Ward was under the influence of marijuana at the time of his death. In other news, Ryan Truex may be out of a ride. Truex was slated to run full-time in the number 83 for BK Racing, but last weekend it was Travis Cavapel behind the wheel of the 83. Cavapel will also drive the car on Sunday at Dover. There is no word from BK Racing on the exact reason for the driver change or about who will drive the 83 throughout the remainder of the season. NASCAR released this 2015 competition package this past week. Nearly 60 enhancements are included in the new package. Also, all private testing will be banned next year, which includes the cancellation of Daytona preseason Thunder, a few days of testing traditionally held in January. NASCAR and Goodyear tests will take place throughout the season instead. And the group qualifying format will now be used for the Daytona 500. In general, qualifying sessions will also be shortened throughout next season. It's time now for an update on the Nationwide and Truck Series. Last weekend, the Nationwide Series visited Kentucky Speedway for the Visit MyrtleBeach.com 300. Brendan Gaughan is the winner, Brian Scott and Ty Dillon finish second and third. Chase Elliott continues to lead in the standings with a 20-point advantage over Regan Smith and 38-point lead over Ty Dillon. The trucks, meanwhile, raced at New Hampshire with the UNOH 175. 16-year-old Cole Custer, that's right, 16-year-old Cole Custer is the winner. Darrell Wallace Jr. and Matt Crafton follow Cole across the start-finish line. Matt Crafton leads in the standings by 7 points over Johnny Sauter and 24 points over Ryan Blaney. The trucks will race at Las Vegas Motor Speedway tomorrow night with the Rhino Linings 300. The contest will start at just after 10 p.m. Eastern Time and will be broadcast on Fox Sports 1, Speed Channel, the Motor Racing Network, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will be held at 6.30 p.m. and will not be covered on either TV or radio. And the Nationwide Series will race at Dover tomorrow afternoon with the Dover 200. The contest will begin at about 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time and will air on ESPN, TSN's 1 and 5, MRN, and Sirius XM. Qualifying will take place at noon and can be seen on Fox Sports 2. Thanks for watching this week's edition of NASCAR 5. I'm Bryce Turner. Enjoy the races.